Hi guys, today is Sunday the 18th of April. Uh, I was actually in church today and I just want to um, vlog the message that I gave in church today because some of you have emailed me and messaged me and said that it really resounded with you or that you actually missed it because you came to the second later service um, and but you'd heard about it and so this is for you guys really. So the message that I brought today um, was about um, struggles in health and other areas. So some of you that know me will know that over the last nine or ten weeks I've really had some health struggles. It's not been every day but it's been enough to kind of drag me down and really kind of make life a bit unbearable really. Now we all go through struggles but for me personally health is the one area where it just completely consumes me when it goes wrong. When you're unwell for such a long time, and I hasten to add, there are lots of other people out there who deal with much worse every day of their lives, so guys, you know, I, I really hope this can help you. Um, health, for me, when it drags you down, it makes you question who you are, it makes you question who you're worth, it makes you question what you're doing with your life, um, and it is, like I said, it can just be completely consuming. I was reading through um, the book of Job, and starting in chapter 1, we read that Job was a very rich man, blessed by God in, in many areas. He was rich in, in wealth, he had lots and lots of cattle, um, he had a great family and great relationships with his friends. When his sons prepared a feast uh, for the family, Job would actually get up early on that day and make an animal sacrifice to God. Now, back then in the Old Testament, this was something that was very, very pleasing to God. So he did this, and it, it says, in case one person in his family could possibly insult God unintentionally. The devil said to God, He's your faithful servant. He only worships you because he's got everything he wants. What if you stripped it all away from him? Would he worship you then? Or is that God um, allows the devil to wipe out his family, his livestock, his job, his home, and Job is literally left with nothing? Yeah. But Job was one of God's humble servants. This was a man that went above and beyond, doing everything he could to make sure that his life was perfect in God's eyes. Now, some of us in life, we lose our wealth, we lose our friendships, we lose our jobs. And I think it was only a couple of weeks ago that um, Femi, a guy from our church, actually said that holy, the word holy, actually means to be set apart. And I felt God say to me, I am holy, I am set apart, I am different. And he really challenged me in what we find our identity in. Do we find it in our wealth, our jobs, our friendships, our family? And, and you know, what gods do we, do we put before him? It is written there in the Ten Commandments, worship no god but me. Do not make yourself images of anything in heaven or on earth. Do not bow down to idols or worship it. I am the Lord your God. And, you know, sometimes in life, I just feel that we can spend so much time focusing on the things of God, and whether that be serving our community, whether it be doing things for people in church, those are all great things to do. But if you lose focus of who you are in Jesus Christ and who you are in God, then the focus, if it's not on God, it's on something else. So the devil takes away Job's wealth, his family, his cattle, his livestock, his home, and still Job worshipped him. And so the devil went back to God and said, well, you know, a man will do anything to save his life. What if you let me take that? Would he still worship you then? And God said to the devil, You must not take his life, but I will allow you to test him further. And, you know, the, the, the devil came by and actually took away Job's health. And he knelt down and he got angry with God. 
and I think it says uh, in again in Job chapter one, um, can't God ever forgive my sin? And for me, in there lies the problem. And like Job, I felt like I was that humble servant. I was like, Lord, I have made sacrifices in my life. I have given up a career to pursue 